This is America is not your run of the mill music video. It is, it looks to be, it appears to be rich with symbolism, right? And because it's so rich with symbolism, apparent symbolism, that the, the internet went crazy, right? It's like, what does he mean by this? What does Charles Gambino, what's he trying, what's the point he's trying to make here? What do those represent, right? And so the internet frenzy became so much, it reached such a peak that reporters started to notice, right? And one interviewer asks Childish Gambino, what does all this mean? Can you, can you spell out, play by play, what that meant, what this represents, etc., etc.? And Childish, Childish Gambino declined to explain, right? He'd rather leave it a mystery, which was a very shrewd move, I must say, I believe, because it sent the frenzy into an overdrive, right? People started speculating even more. The uncertainty, the mystery, created a much more engaging audience, right? And to, to further this, uh, you can see this in past examples too, like John Lennon. John Lennon loved how uh, people would pick apart um, the Beatles lyrics and try and associate or try and find hidden meanings behind their lyrics, or what they're really trying to say. Is this a dig at a politician? Are they have they got some kind of agenda, right? And so he wrote, "I am the walrus." Um, complete nonsense in the lyrics, <laughs> and let them let them speculate, right? Um, also, if we want to move away from the music industry and into the film industry, we can compare two Chris Nolan films, right? The Dark Knight Rises. Right, where the ending is, I'm going to spoil it, so turn away, pause now if you don't want to hear it. Uh, Michael Caine sits down, right, and you're thinking, oh, he's, he might see an alive Batman here, it might prove that he got out alive, right? And you're thinking, oh, is it going to end here? Um, it doesn't end there. We get a shot of an alive Batman across the table, giving Michael Caine a nod, and thereby removing any uncertainty giving us concrete proof that Batman survived that crash, bomb, etc. Compare that to uh, the ending of Inception, right? Where Leonardo DiCaprio's dream testing device um, is spinning, right? And we know that if it drops, that means he's in reality. If it keeps spinning, that means he's still in the dream, right? And so we're closing in on the spinning top and it's starting to wobble, right? But it's still spinning. I was like, and just before we get conclusive proof, right? It's still wobbling. The film ends, right? And this set people mad, right? Because there was huge conversations like, I think it was still a dream. I think it was still running, you know? Um, then they started to speculate that that spinning top was not actually uh, Leonardo's uh, dream indicator it was actually his wedding ring huge speculation right and it's because there was no certainty there was no concrete proof the director didn't go this is it it's a dream right job done no speculation needed right but we as humans love this kind of mystery or or can't handle the mystery or are more engaged or in love with the the kind of not knowing right and it's a really helpful tool Maybe it's something you can incorporate into your creative um, process. Um, that's a film example. That is also a music example. Um, maybe it's something you can use in your podcast or something else. Um, there you go. That's a little technique. I thought uh, that might help with, with your engagement with your audience. Hope that helps. I'm Thomas.